Hello everybody, welcome back to another video on Luck Be a Landlord. My name's APQ, today we're on to floor number 6, we beat floor 5 yesterday. So we still have a dud, which obviously removes itself now in 33 spins, which is amazing. But rent payment 10 costs 25 more. So yesterday we had like, had that incredible uh, toddler build, which I must say I enjoyed a lot. I've been waiting to get a... I never thought it would be that strong, but I, I thought we'd always wanted to get a toddler build. Like, even just win a run with just a few toddlers and get them all to eat the same candy and stuff with jack-o'-lantern. But now with the essences, it's like obviously very possible to do that, as as was shown yesterday. So I'm very excited we got that. I'm very happy we got that. We're going to pay 25 here with 13 spare. We'll add a five-sided die. We'll add a blue pepper for now. It gives three if there are at least three empties. So I'm hoping we can get a decent-ish build going today. Um, I have no idea what we're going to get, I guess. It all depends on the first few essences we get, to be honest. Um, I've just realised... Oh, no, I've just realised we're still on. We'll add cheese. We're still on four times speed. Let's put it back to normal. I don't want to play on four times speed already. I only want to do that if it, uh, you know, we're, we're short on time, which happens. Um, the last two videos were meant to be under an hour, and they both went over an hour. So, um, yeah, you know, I've got to try and keep this one under an hour for my own sake. We'll pay 50 here with 64 spare. We'll add a two value peach. I'll happily add egg carton. Try and get some. Um, eggs in there some passive income going although i maybe would have liked to do a chicken build but like i said it all depends on the first few essences that we collect well, there's our first egg in the egg carton passive income's already started the empire grows from here let's add a goose i just kind of like it when they make the weird sound and add a golden egg it's kind of cool uh, there's a second egg for the for the egg carton hello i still think this should be a way to either remove that like get rid of the egg carton or just after six you know you can still use eggs because even after it gets to six, all your eggs still go to it, but it just doesn't count. But like, I want eggs on my board, but I want to make chicken build, you know? I'm going to take a void fruit here, but also going to take a lunchbox. I know there's two good items there, but I had to do it. I'm going to add beer and beer and then another egg for the egg carton. Yeah, we're up to three eggs in the egg carton already. Passive income at its finest. Uh, there's a chick that could turn into a chicken, which could lay eggs. But I'm going to have to go buffing capsule. I have to go buffing capsule. Okay, there's a toddler. We'll add a to have we already got a toddler? We don't. Okay, so we did add 20 of these yesterday, so I want to try not to do another one of those builds today. But if we can get one and it get a decent candy and stuff and get its value up, that's that's still useful to me. I'm going to add a monkey now as well. So we've literally got lots of symbols that eat things, but not anything to eat. Uh, there's wine for the dwarf. I'm not going to remove anything just yet because this removes itself in 11 spins. So we just got to make sure we keep going. We're going to pay 150 with 147 spare. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I genuinely knew it. As soon as I took egg cart and I said, we're going to have a chicken build. We could have done a chicken build. Okay. Destroys itself. There are at least four spirits. When destroyed, spirits give two more gold this game. Okay. Recycling essence. We'll take it for now. We'll take another five sided die. We'll take triple coins. We're going to get rid of the pearl for now. I want to get rid of the cherries, the flowers. I obviously want to keep the coin now because it's three times its usual value. I'll take a void fruit. Can we get some more coins? Hexamidas anywhere? King Midas anywhere? Um, egg for the egg carton. Let's go up to four eggs. Ooh. Honestly, we're rich. We get four free gold every spin just from our eggs. It's great. Okay, here's a tedium capsule because I didn't want to add any of those one value symbols back there. So. We'll add a tedium capture, which obviously gives us the choice of adding only one value symbol, so I, I apologise, but um, that's life. Uh, another five-sided dice, honestly, yes. Four dice on the board right now, three of them are five-sided. How does a one-sided die, I mean a three-sided die work? I added another egg for the egg carton, that's five. The goose just made the weird sound and laid a golden egg, let's go. We're going to pay 225 with 192 spare. Gonna add a ninja. I'm gonna add a very big symbol bomb. I'm gonna use my removal token on the cherries. We're gonna use very big symbol bomb to add a temporary bubble, a big urn, a beer, a hustling capsule, a pinata for the toddler, and a coin. And none of those. We're still going. Avoid fruit. Okay. Genuinely, I've just flooded the build with absolute rubbish, but it could be fun. Another thing to add to our passive income: a pool ball. Thank you. A diamond is worth five, so we're going to add that. The issue we do have here is removal tokens and removing lots of stuff. Um, so we're going to probably regret adding most of that stuff pretty soon. I want to get rid of the miner, the anchor, the flowers, 
Um, what else? The cat kind of needs to go as well. I mean, there's lots. Don't get me wrong. There is lots. My voice is already going. No. Why does my voice always go when I record? Coconut half. The monkey can technically eat this, so... Oh, and it does find it straight away. Nice. We are going to struggle here, though, until we narrow down the board a little bit. There's another coin. 3x coin. we got three of those now. All worth three each. We just need the triple coin essence to make it even better. We're going to pay 300 here with 241 spare. Okay, it's going to have to be rusty gear essence, though. If three or more of the same symbol are adjacent and not empty, they give... They permanently give 1.5 times more. I know this is good and goes with our other egg carton, but I have to take that. Destroys itself after four spirits are destroyed. Spirits add people. Yes, when destroyed. Yes. Item capsule. Yes. Small symbol bomb. Yes. We'll add a bubble and uh, that's it. My thinking is if we can get a build. Right, we've got the Undertaker Essence, which will only activate after, after there are four spirits on the board at the time. But if you also get that, so that means the spirits are worth more money. There's an egg for the egg can, by the way. That's actually max stat, max stat six. Let's go. So if we had this, spirits give two more gold. Then when spirits die, we get people. Right? It drops one of those. Actually, it could be... It might add a few animals, but it's got a good chance of adding people. We could have Zeroth. And we could just let Zeroth, Zeroth loads of people. And if you get Zeroth Essence... He gives more money, and if we get loads of Zeroths and we get Rusty Gear, there we go. The coins just got Rusty Gear essenced. So they're all worth a little bit more now. How much do they give us now? Five? They do? Okay. That's pretty decent. We've still got a long way to go, though. Okay, the piñata has been broken. It's one piece of candy eaten. I don't want to go this route again today, so... I would like to get rid of the toddler eventually. We've got lots to get rid of, though, haven't we? The cat, the flower, gotta go. We pay 375. We had 666 gold then for a second. Oh my god. Uh, we pay 375. We have 291 spare. We could add a sun. I'm just add a hustling capsule though and a guillotine. I'm then going to remove the flower. Okay. We can do this. So we do want spirits on the board. So we can't add any more eggs. It caps out of six, which sucks. It sucks. Hopefully we get the other egg. Um, essence again egg cut and essence again had to skip it last time because we had the option to add what was it triple coin essence or no it's rusty gear essence wasn't it okay i need removal tokens though for sure but we're doing okay we're doing comfortable right now i want to get rid of the miner and the cat billionaire can get guillotined just like that thank you very much also there's a piece of cheese but we've got no mouse to eat it we could add a mouse but i'm gonna add a removal capsule instead i'm actually going to get rid of the miner yeah, let's get rid of the miner now. He's not really doing anything anymore. There's no ores for him to break. So I'm not adding any ores. The goose is only one value as well. Mm. So many one value symbols in one place. It kind of sucks. We got a lot of money though somehow. Okay, we roll 62 then. We're going to pay 450 with 347 spare. Destroys itself after three sided dice and five sided dice. Give gold 10 times. They give one more gold. Oh. And dice will all okay, so they'll always roll the maximum for like 10 spins, I guess. I'm just going to add a pool ball here. I'm going to add a pinata for the toddler again. I'm going to add a shrine so that when the, when we destroy certain people, we get spirits. It's kind of good, right? Kind of good. Still need removal tokens, though. We have got a second golden egg from the goose. Oh, there's so many things that need to be removed. There's so many things. I just don't have enough. Okay, um, I almost added, I don't want to add beer, I know we've got a dwarf, but I don't want to add beer right now, we've got enough stuff on the board as it is. Okay, we just had to keep going, there's another toddler, we don't want toddlers today, I was so drawn to that then, thinking we needed to add it, after the stress that we had yesterday of adding 20. Okay, what is, two golden eggs, two golden eggs, we've got three golden eggs, okay, oh, we'll keep those for a bit I think. No need to get rid of those so soon. They're free value. We've got loads of two value things that need to go soon. Or first, even, I should say. Don't add any more dice right now. I know we've got the lucky dice essence. That's already gone, I guess, actually. So, never mind. We'll pay 575 with 324 spare. We do not want to add. What do we want to add to this? A King Midas? Yes. Where's King Midas? Please give me 
We're not rolling three rares yet, I have just realized. So there he is, King Midas. We'll take a fruit basket as well. We're going to use a removal token on what's really annoying me the most. Probably the cheese, to be honest. Nice loud vehicle driving past my building. We love to hear that. Okay, this is going to be very broken with Midas, and it's going to be painful to get going. But basically, my plan is for Midas to flood the build with coins so much that we roll more coins than anything else, and then we can slowly remove the other symbols over time. And albeit that's going to be a lot of time, because it takes us a long time to get removal tokens on this floor, which I kind of forgot about before starting. Floor 6, but it happens, I guess. I'm actually going to add a watermelon. I'm just going to do it. I like watermelons, especially since the new update. Get one more gold. So watermelons are worth one more gold for every other watermelon that you have. Like, hello. Sounds strong, right? Sounds like a ninja. Sounds like a cultist. Sounds great, to be honest. But obviously, they're quite hard to find because they're very rare. So whenever I get one, I just add one in case I find more. That's just how it works. And it's a four value, so it's higher value than most other things on the board right now. Come on, we see Midas to keep adding coins. Just spam the board with coins, Midas. You got this. We need to not add coin on a string this game, just to remind us all. I did also just add another pinata, not like the toddler's going to find it. We should probably stop adding items at this point, shouldn't we? Um, okay. What have we got? Honestly, yeah. We don't need to add any more items. We'll pay 650 here with 285 spare, 675 is doing 10. I'm going to take loot and glove. I'm also going to take uh, fertilizer. We're going to re roll here. Can we find another King Midas? We can. I'm then going to add Horseshoe for some more passive income. We got six from the egg carton, two from the pool balls, two from the two from the Horseshoe. We've got lots of money. I've added more candy for literally no reason there. I need to stop doing this. I need to get removal tokens. I need cardboard box. I need sunglasses. I need lots. Yeah. I need a million removal tokens because I keep adding stuff. It's kind of addictive though to add stuff. Especially when we don't need them. This could be a good build though. If we get triple coin essence, you know, and we get rusty gear essence, and we get all those kind of things, it could be great for us. <laughs> uh, I mean, those are the only two that I think are going to affect the coins. Because the anthropology degree doesn't, you know, I mean, the essence doesn't at least. Um, actually, no, none of it does. Why am I saying that so weirdly? Somehow the pinata just found the toddler, or the other way around, in a sea of gold coins. It's kind of funny. This is what I wanted. Like I wanted us to add enough coins so that we mainly roll coins and nothing else. Um, even though most of the coins are worth three, some are worth six. We obviously get Midas on the board as well. He gets to multiply them. It's kind of crazy though because eventually we're going to get to a point where we're just rolling three value coins and Midas isn't on the board to multiply them. Um, so it's going to be like a kind of a bad roll a lot of the times if we just roll 20 coins with no Midas. But if we keep getting uh, essence buffs to help them out, then we'll be fine. So we're going to pay 675 here. We have 352 spare. We're going to re-roll in case we find another King Midas, which we do. We're not going to add Lucky Carrot. We're not going to add Coin and a String. Actually, we do want to take Lucky Carrot because we want rares this game for once. We're going to use our removal token to get rid of the Goose before it adds any more Golden Eggs, which I doubt it will because we're hardly seeing the Goose, which means it can't add Golden Eggs, of course. We've got Lucky Carrot. We now just need a few more luck items to just help us find some good stuff. Right, these two Midas just multiplied a lot of coins. We need to find Triple Coins Essence, though, for it to work really well. Okay, item capsule will take, because whenever, whenever, that, whenever that rolls, we get an item, of course. We can't get coin and a string out of it, because it's uncommon. That's nice. I won't add any of those. What did we get? We got a cyan pepper. Gives two gold if no more than two symbols are the same. Well, oops. Um, we'll carry on here. We've definitely made, we've de we definitely won the run. So floor six is won, guys. That's good. That means floor seven tomorrow. I'm not sure if I'm prepared to go through these higher floors again, but there are six new ones as well to go through. So I'm very nervous. Okay. Nine, five, six. We are absolutely flooding the board with coins, but I do love it, I must admit. So now the hustling capsule got in there. I'm not even going to look at our inventory to see how many coins we've got, although next time I use a removal token, I probably will see it. That's all we're hoping for now is removal tokens, <laughs> and then essences to help with the coins, and rusty gear item, of course, that'd be strong. 
So we're going to pay 777. Our landlord was used as a pinata. Okay. That would have been good for the last video, wouldn't it? Uh, and we're going to continue playing an endless. Now, we've only got 425. 1,000 is shooting 10 spins. Oh, my God. Rusty Gear Essence, 1.5 times more. Yes. I'd obviously love Anthropology Degree Essence, but we're going to... It, it doesn't affect uh, this build. Um, but we're still going to add it anyway. We're also going to add Ritual Candle, because it's uncommon, to help us find the actual uh, Rusty Gear when we do find it. Okay, there were loads of new coins. There were loads of new coins. They weren't even the old coins. Only one of them was an, a previous coin that had been Rusty Gear Essenced. Hence why it was 2.5 instead of 1.5. But the other ones were new, so they're 1.5 still. Well, that sucks. That's why we need to roll 20 gold coins at a time, so they all get Rusty Gear Essenced. Rusty Gear Essenced next time. I mean, Triple Coin Essence is the one that's going to make it big, right? But we've got to find that. We've got to keep spinning until we do find it. This might actually be a short video for once. I can't believe it. After the last few days of hour-long videos, it might actually be a short one. We're not doing very well. All we need is Rusty Gear item would double our money. And then Triple Coin Essence would double our money. Any more Triple Coin Essence? Wait, what did I just say? I don't know. Basically, give me Essences. Just, just let me win the game. We're all on 98, so it's not too bad. I don't need to take a wealthy capsule. 1,000 is due in two spins, though. And we've only got 1,200 right now, which is my kind of worry right here. So we're not rolling enough uh, enough buffer, really. 1,000 is due in 10 spins. Oh, sorry, yeah, 10, no, two, one spin. So we pay 1,000, and we've only got 387 spare. And we're rolling for another Midas. We don't find one. I'm going to add a looting glove. Now that's going to help. I'm going to use a removal token to remove the anchor. Not that any of those matter anymore. We've got a million gold coins. Just not enough income. I should have waited until I got more things than just triple coins. You know, I should have waited. Uh, I, sh I should have waited to get like rusty gear as well. We definitely need rusty gear with this build. I mean, we've, we've won the run, so it's not, it's not terrible. You know, it's not bad. We've won the run, guys. Uh, but it does suck that it's not, not a super run like it has been the last few days. There's still, still so much stuff to remove. Okay, 1,506. Come on. It's a lot of coins multiplied by Midas there. Maybe I'll help a little bit. We roll 138. Okay. I will take a Chemical 7 just in case we do actually come across it. And then we smash it. We get a lucky 7 and 7 gold. So why not? We did only roll 70 there. Item capture gives us checkered flag. We only roll 70 again. We've got to roll 1,500 in free spins. I think it's over. We only got two carried away with the Midas build, guys. Is there nothing we can do? I don't think there is anything we can do. We've got watering can. We need rusty gear. It's, it's impossible. 97. We've got one spin to make 1,500. I don't think it's possible. We've, got, we've only got 35 coins. To be, fair. to be fair, though, you only add a coin whenever a Midas is in the, on the board. And uh, we've hardly seen Midas since we flooded the build. Kind of sucks that this is going to be a fast one, but we did absolutely smash floor six. So I'm not too sad about it. Um, but I guess it happens. We didn't even roll. We roll 95. So we fail. It is a short video, so I apologize. But we beat floor six, guys. So floor seven, eight, and nine to go. And then that's where we start playing the new floors. So um, what do I have to say? Let's have a look. We got 35 coins. I'll have a look. Where was it? We had two rusty gear essences. We didn't get triple. Yeah, we, did, we, we didn't get triple coin essence. We got triple coin fourth item. Okay. Yeah. I mean, if we got triple coin essence, we'd have got a lot more money. If we'd have got the actual rusty gear item as well, we'd have got a lot more money. This activated the first time when there was only three coins, and the second time when it activated, it only affected like three coins, even though we had like forty in the build, or well, I guess twenty in the build, because we only ended with thirty-five. So um, that does kind of suck, but we definitely could have made it better, couldn't we? I think next time we will maybe wait until we get more items and essences before we completely dedicate our, or we completely commit to a, a coin run and a Midas run. Um, but either way, I still I still enjoyed it. It's a nice win onto floor six, which means next episode we start on floor seven, which is where it starts to get really difficult. I think we have two duds. Well, the, the duds have changed now, so floor seven might actually be easy. Um, but either way, thank you everybody for watching today's video. Please make sure you're subscribed to the channel. We post daily Look Beer Landlord videos on this channel, along with other daily videos too. 
uh, make sure to uh, leave a comment and a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and check out the links in my description the link to my twitch my twitter and my discord if you're interested but if not that's totally fine um, but apart from that really carry on doing the usual youtube stuff and uh yeah goodbye